is up guys it is your boy Benton. i am here in the crypto dojo welcome to the intergalactic headquarters of cryptopia brought to you by crypto live leak very stoked for today's show a lot of good stuff coming in for you guys we're gonna be talking cool crypto apps we got our coin of the day we got our human being of this week and then we're gonna teach you some vocab so stay tuned and let's go and dive head first in it let's go yeah let's do it man Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah! Let's do it! Let's do this. Yeah. Great, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do it. This week's coolest crypto app of the week is going to be a little app called Fold, F-O-L-D. This is the Fold app. And what this does for you and why you need to know about this is it enables Bitcoin Lightning payments at several stores, including Whole Foods and Starbucks. So you're getting those coffees, you're buying those groceries, you can now pay in crypto through the Fold app. That's right, folks. So Fold is designed as a payments platform, and it's introducing the Lightning Network protocol that will allegedly enable users to shop in store or online at several different retailers. Um, so I actually downloaded the app earlier today, was playing around with it. They have partnered with many, many major retailers, including Delta, Southwest Airlines, Home Depot, uh, Starbucks, Whole Foods, just to name a few. And what's happening is they are creating a way, kind of like crypto.com, which we talked on last week, they are allowing you to buy gift cards in a way um, or store credits. So for the store, it's, it's considered like a gift card, um, but through the app, it's gonna be considered like a credit. So the way it works is you buy these credits and then you get cash back in Bitcoin. So you can earn up to, I believe, it, depending on the sponsor or the affiliate, it is up to 4% at certain places and then up to 8% cash back at other places. So the app is pretty cool. It's well designed. To me, it seems like they, they still have a little bit of work to do, but I think the concept is there. So the concept is really cool that you're able to buy these credits, store credits, spend these credits, whether that's online or at the store, use it and then get your cash back. Always nice to get a little cash back. And to do that in Bitcoin makes it even that sweeter. That's pretty much going to be the full app it's very interesting I think it has a lot of a potential um, still in, in its kind of beginning stages here but take a look at the fold app give it a shot that's gonna be our coolest crypto app of this week oh didn't see you there I'm Chet you probably know me I'm definitely not your financial advisor if your financial advisor doesn't have a ponytail then why are you using them uh, 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 uh. Do me a favor, can you put a block trade into AWS? Yeah, make it five mil. <laughs> All right, Andrew, cheers. Sorry about that. Like I was saying, I can't give you any financial advice due to client, you know, that thing, whatever that is. But what I can tell you is this cryptocurrency market is looking mighty fine. I needed those TPS reports in yesterday chad you're fired what's it donald hey well the bulls and the bears are out aren't they <laughs> give me what's it why don't you buy all please buy just buy everything you got just, just do it now <laughs> fiat currency is like monopoly money yeah yeah it's free money free money invest everything you have we're talking derivatives we're talking dcfs coupons give me one second Sell it. Sell it all. No, 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 I said sell. Sell. Buy it. Buy it. For fuck's sake, buy it. Sell it. Just sell it. Sell it. Just sell it. Just. I'm not your financial advisor, but if I was, I'd be telling you to invest in stocks right now. Thank you, Chet, for the excellent intro. You were just, I don't even know how to describe it, but Chet, you keep doing your thing, buddy. This week's coin of the week, you've probably heard about it. It's the big buzz out there right now. It's Dogecoin, the sleeper coin of the week. This one came out of nowhere, folks. Uh, for those of you who haven't heard the buzz, uh, there's been a, a TikTok revolution happening. And a, a TikToker pretty much said if you, if you made this viral post where he's encouraging everyone to invest $25 into to Dogecoin and ride it all the way up until it hits $1 now. 
Once again, this is not financial advice, and definitely don't listen to that guy fucking chat. But this is not financial advice, not telling you to, to do that. But he, he does have a point. It, it's it's 25 bucks. What do you got to lose? If you play around with it and it shoots up to a dollar, great. If you lose the 25 bucks, not a big deal. So I think it's just interesting to see how people are are jumping into this coin headfirst, not knowing anything about cryptocurrency. Is it the new on-ramp to cryptocurrency for, for folks getting started in this space? I don't know. But if we're getting buzz around the cryptocurrency space and the blockchain space, I think that's very good. Now let's get these people involved and let's get them educated. Let's teach them about why Dogecoin is what it is. So that's why we're going to break down Dogecoin. A lot of hype around this coin this week. So Dogecoin did get started back in 2013. And it's been around for almost just as long as Bitcoin. So it is one of the, the first created cryptocurrencies. However, like I mentioned, the, the founders of them are no longer involved with it, but it still lives on to this day. And the hype around this project is still there. So right now, it, it's to give a little bit more background on Dogecoin, it was modeled after Lucky Coin, which was a, another kind of project out there. And really, it's just kind of sat around there. It, it's it's it pumped a couple times over, I think over its inception, about eight times it's given a nice pump. And right now it is pumping. And granted, we're talking fractions of a cent right now. Dogecoin has has done a great job with its clever marketing, like I said. And this is the history behind the project, so you can know a little bit about it. Uh, they've done an excellent job with sponsoring multiple high-profile events, such as NASCAR teams. There was actually a NASCAR driver who had it on this car. Um, in the Winter Olympics, they were sponsoring uh, some of that. And even a, a few other locations have have used dogecoin as a de facto uh, form of tipping so it and another use case for dogecoin is on the reddit threads is tipping the riders through dogecoin so very interesting use cases and it has been around and it's still around and i don't think it's going anywhere so it's funny how it is becoming more and more popular and we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. But it is our coin of the week. So, like I said, never invest in things without doing your homework and understanding the risk involved with investing in cryptocurrency. So make sure you do that. The The mascot of Dogecoin, a little background on that one, is that it is a Shiba Inu, which is a Japanese breed of dog that was popularized by online memes and, and represents Dogecoin. That is their mascot. If you go to Dogecoin.com, you will see the Shiba Inu all over the place. And it's funny. They have a good little video of there of, of the Shiba Inu riding the rocket up to the moon. And maybe that's what we're doing right now. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see. The quick rundown and the skinny on this thing is right now it has a market cap of right around $586 million. And it's got, the price is hovering just under a cent. So we're talking 0 0.004681 dollars. So it's not even at a cent yet. Um, so right now is is the time is what everybody's saying and all the tiktokers are saying so if you're taking your investment advice from tiktokers it's 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 definitely not uh not the right place to be going but once again it, it, it's crazy to see how people are getting so amped up about this project and the circulating supply of this is 125 billion coins dogecoin so you can see there is a shit ton of dogecoins out there but that was our crypto coin of the week i'm a human being i'm just a human i'm just a human just a human being now it is that time that time of the week where we take time to thank the human being of the week this week our human being of the week is brock pierce for those of you not familiar with Brock Pierce, we're here to educate you. He is now running as a 2020 presidential candidate. So he just released this in the past couple weeks. And for those of you not familiar with Brock Pierce, he is a blockchain entrepreneur. And he is formerly a child actor for those familiar with the Disney films Mighty Ducks, Mighty Ducks 2, and the first kid he was 
starring in those films. So he started out as a child actor and he's been known, he's got involved with the gaming space and had a big footprint there for several years. And then since has moved over to cryptocurrency and blockchain. Um, he's been known for his work inside of that space now and, and has created a legacy. So he's the director of Bitcoin Foundation as of May 2014 and also is part of the co-founding team of Tether. So that stable coin that you guys have all heard of with a huge market cap, Tether is part of the reason Brock Pierce helped create that and, and was part of the co-founding team. Um, so I was actually able to watch an interview with Brock Pierce one-on-one -on -one with the host um, at the Reimagine Conference 2020. And it was very, very interesting to, to listen to the guy and hear his story, his very interesting way of talking. And I think he has a lot to say. I am not saying to vote Brock Pierce 2020. I don't even think he's released anything for his presidential platform yet. I'm just saying I think it's interesting that someone from this space who has a technology forward mind is, is running for president now and we'll see what happens but he has made it official and i'm curious just to see what his platform is and, and, and how he plans on integrating in the technology of blockchain and crypto because the world needs that right now we have this beast this dragon that that we're riding on and we don't know how to control it and i think it would be very suitable for someone to step into the government and educate people and have systems set up where we can start integrating this in. And it'd be very interesting to see what he's all about. Uh, I know if you if you have a chance, go watch the interview with him at the Reimagine, the Reimagine Conference 2020. It was very interesting. I think it was about an hour long. He gives his story. He tells you some funny stories. And he, he's got this unique way of speaking where you just kind of get locked in and sucked in. So that is going to be our human being of the week. Thank you, Brock Pierce, for all the work that you have done for the industry. And, and I look forward to seeing what's going to happen here. So Brock Pierce, human being of this week. Okay, folks, it's time to get educated. It's time to put on the learn hat. Put it on. This week, we're learning about hash rates. If you've been reading articles, you probably have seen it. You've probably heard of it. I, I, I've heard of it. Okay, but I had to do a little research. So we're here just to break down and give it to you at the most simple level. So hash rates in the context of like Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrencies, it just represents the efficiency and performance of mining machines. So it's defined by how fast mining hardware operates and when it's trying to validate the block hashes and all the data and all that kind of stuff. So a, a block miner needs to run a bunch of data through a hash function, which is just kind of like the formula that solves all these complex problems. So the, the miner is only successful when they have a certain hash value generated through the hash rate. So when they get the hash value correct, it has a certain number of zeros in front of it. And that means they solve the problem and they get the reward. You, everyone's excited. So that's, that's what the hash rate is. Uh, when it comes down to like breaking down a little bit more of the complexities, the higher the hash rate means the higher probability that a, that a block is mined. And that's going to be your hash rate. So hash rate, if you ever hear it now, you know, you have a little bit of an idea of what it is. It's out there. It's out there in tons of articles that I've been reading recently. And I was kind of like, I know what it is, but do I really know what it is? That's in its general context. That's all you need to know about hash rates, unless you're a developer, a miner, where you're using these stuff every day. You need to know particulars about it. So for the average person, hash rate, it's nice to know about it and nice to know what it is to dive into the weeds with it. Not necessary. It's using that capacity to solve these problems as a miner, and that's going to be your vocab of this week, folks. I hope this was a pleasure. I hope you learned a little bit today. I hope you had fun, okay? We're here to have fun. If you're not having fun, you can leave, okay? So I appreciate you stopping by for the few minutes that you did. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you learned a little bit about what's going on in the blockchain space. And I appreciate you, as always, for coming by the Crypto Dojo and having fun with us. If you have not liked, subscribe, please go to YouTube and give us the, the thumbs up. 
on it, or just rip me in the comments. If you don't like it, just rip me. You know what? I don't care. Just rip me in the comments. But if you do like it, give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. Come back next week. We're here every week. I'm doing interviews. We got interviews coming out left and right, and we got our weekly show here. Just look the quick little hitters that we want to get you the little nuggets for you to take home and learn. And if you want to learn more, go ahead. And by all means, we we're all about self education here, but we want to point you in the right direction so you can get go going down the right tracks there. And if you have not liked Crypto Live Leak, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. Block Relations is our sister company, and we love them, and, and we always want to see them out there as well. So if you haven't, go go check out Block Relations, Instagram and Twitter. We love you guys. We hope you guys have an awesome day, and I thank you for stopping by. The Crypto Dojo, the intergalactic headquarters of Cryptopia. Until next time, over and out.